Welcome back guys to the channel and today we're going to be doing a video about how to set up your FM22 um, save game. So, first things first, start a new game, obviously. Career mode, I mean you've got plenty of options here, right? Career, create a club if you fancy that. Um, I'll probably do a video on that too. Uh, online career with your friends, uh, fantasy draft where there's like loads of different things you can do. Just go in there and have a look around. But the one we want today is career mode. So, if you already know the team that you're managing, no problem. Find the club, find the whatever, find where you, you want to go and uh, and do it. If not, for like this, this one, just click pick team later and then go to advanced setup. You can go quick start, but I don't think you get the best version of the save that you want. So, first things first, this estimated game speed. <clears throat> now, obviously the more leagues that you load, the slower the game is. Not even, no doubt about that. So that's, that's obvious. But... But, 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 depending on your setup, depending on your um, powerful, the power of your machine slash laptop, whatever you're playing on, um, this does go down quite quickly. Um, if I just like add three more leagues, the, those three, that's just, oh, it's not taking it down. It usually does. Ah, I think I know why. I think I know why, because I've already got those players loaded. Right, okay, start again. Yeah, we've already got those players loaded, so it won't work. But, so we, let's just say we want a staple, I think. A, st a good staple save is probably the top five leagues, right? Top five leagues. And then the other two, which I call the other two, which is Netherlands and Portugal. Right? So we've got England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain. Portugal and Netherlands like that's a good first five yeah I think if you're on a decent I think if you're on a machine that's struggling a little bit I think that's fine I think that's a good little one to do um I'll probably do just do second divisions or you can even just go first divisions honestly especially with these two I would yeah I'd probably go with these two first division and then the rest just have like a second tier in just in case like maybe you're going on a journeyman or something um it's up to you on the England one. You can go to League 2 if you fancy it. There's no real point in the non-league ones. Unless you want to go into non-league, That's obviously then you put that on. But I think this is a good little setup. Now, I've got a custom database. What that means is if you click here and go to Advanced, that means Custom. And you can do things in here that um, you might not know about. So, for example, that's put it back up to 4 star, right? That's a small database. Now, if I go to Advanced, and then let's say... I want more Nugents in my game, right? Maybe you're playing a save game and you're thinking, there's not many variations. It's all Brazilians or it's all French or it's all... I'm not getting the obscure nation wonder kits. I'm not getting many of them. It's like quite hard for me to find them. Now, what you need to do for that is if you've got the machine to handle it, especially, is what you can do is, I could do it on mine, is go to continents, every single continent, right? Put them all on. And then players from top division clubs, right? That's 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 the one that I would suggest to do. Now that's got 110,000. Now what you could do, literally, if you've got the one of the best PCs out there, right? I would recommend this. Tick in players of nationality. And I'll tell you what that does. And I think the player count it dramatically increases, watch. I think that is the most players that you can get in get in, in, in FM, right? All the continents, all the nationalities, 439. I think that is literally the most you can get. Now, that loads every single player in the database, even these. All that happens is they won't play any matches in their league system, okay? So you will actually get every single player, but you won't have to do the processing times of all the leagues. But you'll still get extra processing because there's so many players. It has to, it has to process the um, attribute increases, attribute decreases, injuries, all that stuff. So you will get extra bit of lag. So it goes down to... Um, half a star right it says exceeds the recommended limit of 125 now i can easily have double that 250k players it won't make a difference i personally don't listen to this it, it's there and it looks like it's a big warning because it's in like different font in an orange color like a danger color but honestly it, it's fine if you've got a really super pc i would i would recommend this because what happens is is the game starts with 440,000 players roundabout right so what it does is when players retire um, around the world on the save every single 
June or July, what it does is it puts the same, tries to keep the same amount of player count as it can. It tries to keep up as much as it can. So you will get more Nugents coming in from obscure clubs, uh, more chance of getting better ones, more chance of getting uh, players from nations that you wouldn't usually see. So if you want that and you want a really immersive, full, safe game, I would do that, in my opinion. Um, now, I've got a bad habit, and I don't know if it's a bad habit, actually. I've got a habit, we'll say. I've got a habit of ticking almost every nation. Now, I don't know why, because I'll never manage in those nations, but it's something in my head where I'm thinking, like, oh, well, I need to tick them because it's, it's, it, it, makes it, it makes more players appear. It doesn't. So... 439,000 there. If I if I take extra ones like Greece, I don't know, Denmark, Belgium. It's the same amount of players. It's literally the same amount of players. There's there's no extra players I can add. So I don't need those. I'm not going to manage there. So I get the best of both worlds, right? Now, the th the argument for picking the for picking the other leagues, for example, like Salzburg in Austria or the, the big teams in Belgium or a few good teams in Denmark. Now, the argument for those teams is when you get into European competitions, I feel, personally, in my opinion, that the clubs in non-playable leagues, they don't squad build as good. Now, the AI isn't the best at squad building anyway, but if you don't love the leagues and they're playing in a league that you can't, uh, there's no fixtures, I find that they don't squad build as good as the AI in a normal saves. So... I feel the save gets a little bit easier in the Europa League or Europa Conference League, in my opinion. So, to the recommended setups for each system. For people, I'm just going to go over it. For people that want that don't have the best systems, I would probably go for this situation. This is if you're managing in England, right? Now, if you're managing in Spain, obviously go for the bottom division or whoever you want. But I would go for the top five leagues. Now, I think 71,000 is easily enough. Um, that's no problem. Going to advanced, and then, in my opinion, this is what I would do. Load up North America, South America, Europe, and Africa. I feel like you can leave Asia and Oceania. I don't feel like it matter, makes much difference to my save. Now, if you're managing in Asia or Oceania, then obviously add those. But I'm just going from a, a viewpoint of um, a normal European save, um, what most people do, right? The, the, uh, the, the, the popular ones. I would add on North America, South America, Europe, and Africa, right? And then I would go for players from top clubs of those first three. And then on Europe, you can decide between two. Um, if you want, so non-playable leagues, for example, um, not the ones I've picked. So I've picked England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain. So Portugal, um, if you tick on players from top clubs, then that probably just means um, Sporting, Benfica, Porto and maybe Braga sneak in there. I don't know what the uh, the stipulation is for that. Um, in Holland and Netherlands, you might only get Ajax players, um, Feyenoord and PSV. I don't know if AZ Alkmaar would fit into that. Um, pr pretty much like Braga situation there. So yeah, like in Belgium, you're probably going to get Anderlecht, Club Bruges, Genk. You get what I'm saying, right? So it's up to you what you want to do. Now in Europe, because there's that many leagues, I would probably load up top division clubs. So you get the players from every club in Belgium or every club in Portugal because there's some good players. So you don't want to miss out on that. Now, do you want players from every single top division club in Africa? Probably not. Probably not. Um, same with North America and South America. Like top clubs in Brazil or may maybe in South America, maybe you want to do that yourself and uh, maybe go in top division clubs. I don't know how much it adds on. It's an extra 3,000. It's up to you. Um, you're probably, like I said, you're probably going to get Flamengo players, um, Boca Juniors, River Plate, Santos maybe, uh, but you won't get like the bottom level Argentinian players. So it's up to you. I think maybe South America, I would probably change that and I would go for top club, top division clubs. So that's 74,000. I think that's a good save for people on a low end budget. Now, if you're on a mid budget, what you can do is you can expand to this, right? You can expand to this. You could probably add in Netherlands, you could add in Portugal, just in case, just for a playable thing, for better squad building, etc. You can stick the top divisions in. You could even go to second divisions um, in, the, in the top five, right? You can expand a little bit. You can afford to expand. And then on here, maybe you can go to top division clubs. Why not? Because what happens in FM, 
when you you could even add in Asia and Oceania because there's not that many players uh, over there in the top division clubs. So you can add it in. Look, we're 110,000 now. Um, that's not too much more than before, but it's enough for your system to handle it if you're on a mid-tier system. Um, what I would do is to find out what system you are on, which which one you drop into, is look at FM on FM's website, Football Manager website, and uh, and put in the recommended specs. I'll try and put it down below in the video. Um, so pause the video and have a look down there. If it's not there and I couldn't find it, apologies. Um, you might have a better look, but I will look very hard for it. So it probably will be there. Um, but yeah, this is a mid-tier system, I would say. Um, and then what we, if, you are, if you're lucky enough to be on a system like mine, and I know I'm saying system a lot, but I don't know what else to say, PC, laptop, whatever, then you can do whatever you want. Um, this is the way to add in every single player in the save. Right, this is the way. Players of nationality, right? Because it's all continents, all nationalities. That is literally everyone. And as you can see by the player count at the bottom, we're now at 439,050 players. That is the most you can have. That is the most you can have because it's every continent, right? And it's every player of that continent because it's players of nationality. So there is literally no other players to add there. There's none. All Africa, like literally all those have been added, everything. So if you're on a top system, that's every player added. Now, if you've got a super top system, you can even go and add all the leagues in, which makes it generate... Um, makes players, uh, teams' squad build better and more competitive. That's up to you. But um, but in terms of like the player count, that is the most player count you can have. Now, you can mess around with this, whatever you want to do. Depending on where you're managing, depending on the, 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 the area of the world that you're in, this will differ depending. But I think the player count is the most important thing because, like I said, the most important part is whatever happens, whatever, however many players that your database starts with, that's how much FM will try and keep up with that. They will add new gens in to try and keep up with that original number. So the more players you have in, the more new gens come in to try and fill that gap. Now, it probably can't keep up with 439, so it will end up dropping off. But it will probably go to as low as 300 maybe, but it probably won't go much lower than that. I've not noticed it go much lower than that. Um, it can't keep up with 439. That's impossible. But what it can do is it can keep up as much as it possibly can, which is quite a lot. And what you will notice is um, teams that usually don't produce any academy players are starting to. And you might get the, the odd one that's like on a free transfer from, like for example, in my Swedish, uh, Swedish build, a nation, build a Nation save last, last FM, I found a team from Angola and they produced a guy with 180 potential ability. Now I knew that because I checked after the save had finished and he was fantastic. I got him on a free transfer. I think his name was Kachipiswila. Fantastic name, fantastic player. And it was one of my um, proudest transfers because I'd found him. I wouldn't have found him if I wouldn't have had 439,000 because the Angolan team wouldn't have produced him. Um, but that was the game catching up with the player count. But less of that now, more to these parts down the bottom because this is these are more um, options that you can do. So use fake players and stuff. Obviously, that's self-explanatory. What you can do is if you don't know any of these mean is you can literally click the information tab. Um, most of them are pretty pretty obvious, but the ones that might not be obvious are add players to playable teams. Now, this is a good one to pick if you want because it adds players to teams to fulfill particular squad requirements at the start of a new save. So this one goes hand in hand with more leagues that you load. So if you add this, and then it won't really affect this save situation, but if I add really obscure ones that maybe don't have the players loaded, if I don't have the uh, 439,000, it will add Nugents like, to a team if they don't have enough players. Um, so if you want Nugents at the start of the save, then tick that. Um, there's some more added in. Obviously, it won't matter if you tick, if you do this because it won't need more Nugents because it's every single player in the world. So that's obsolete. That doesn't matter with this setup. But if you're on a mid-setup or a lower setup, like I said earlier, this can be useful. Um this is obvious, again, disable first window transfer activity. If you wanted to make it realistic, like it says, um, like the manager is dealing with in real life, the squads that they're dealing with, that is the one for you. Disable player attribute masking. If you tick this, you can see every single player's attributes straight away. If you untick this, you have to scout players. And then um, this one as well is basically the bottom one. Prevents the use of the in-game editor. 
that is in case you want to just show off to your mates and you can say, oh, look, I did this without cheating because I didn't use the in-game editor. Some people do that, right? It's just there for that. And then I, I suppose we can go for this one because it's the last, but not least. Prevent control of teams with managers in charge. So Newcastle don't have a manager in charge. Um, for example, uh, they, they, they do at the start of this because it's Steve Bruce because it's not been updated. And I think now Eddie Howe will be in there for the ninth um, when the game comes out. But for example, if... I'm try I can't think of a team off the top of my head, but just, just to use hypothetically, Newcastle don't have a manager, technically. Now, you could take over Newcastle because they don't have no manager, but for example, Man United or Arsenal, who have got Arteta and Olegan and Solskjaer, now you can't take over them. So again, it's, it's a bit of realism. It's up to you what you want to do. Um, a lot of people love a lot of realism. And then obviously the last thing is you can't see behind my, uh, behind my camera is the start date. Uh, you can see in the pop out there. You can just start wherever you want. France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain. Again, personal preference. If you don't want to do the pre-season, you can start at the start of the league. If you want to start mid-season, um, what you can do is you can add someone like, um, I think you can add, is it Sweden? Sweden have a weird little system. And what you can do is add Sweden's top division um, and then go to Sweden. And then you can literally start if you want in January, at the end of January, and maybe take over a team that's struggling, right? And then when the game starts up, what you can do is you can take away Sweden. So you get the best of both worlds. You get a save with the challenge, so you can take over 20th in the Premier League, for example, um, try and rescue them, and then take away Sweden. But you have to have Sweden there to start. I don't think any of these European nations start in January. No, they don't. It's like July and August. So yeah, that's another little twist you can add to a save. If you get a little bit bored, maybe, and you want to do a rescue mission, for example, you uh, you see Norwich in 20th position and you want to take charge of them, then add Sweden in, um, find Sweden down here, and then pick a date that you want. There's February, there's April, there's March, there's February, there's January, there's everything. <laughs> everything, there's July, whatever you want to do. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I didn't want to talk too much about it all. Um, but yeah, if there's any questions, as always, put it in the comments below. Hit the like button. Helps me out massively. And also subscribe because we are close to 1,500. And that would be fantastic. And then we can push on for 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, a million. Why not? Um, but yeah, I'll be making the, uh, the the content look a bit more professional as well over the coming uh, coming months with an intro and an editor and uh and all that good stuff. So I appreciate the support. Anyone that's watching the videos right now at this stage. I won't forget that. I promise. Um, and yeah. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.